The story you're about to hear is about a man called Glenn Rafferty. Glenn was an up-and-coming comedian and performer in the early 90s. He was originally from Adelaide, but moved on to bigger and better things. In 1991, there was a big event in Glenn's life. Can you tell me exactly what happened on the 22nd of March, 1991? Well, I was actually uh, at home uh, making dinner and um, then I realised there was some ingredients missing. So I decided I'd go to the shop and get it. So I had a main road near me and I crossed a pedestrian crossing to get there, got my stuff, and then as I was coming back, um, a limousine came at full speed and it hit me. How long were you in hospital for? Well, I was in a coma for three months in intensive care and then I was in a rehabilitation unit for a matter of three to four months after that with other brain injured people. I thought I was in the hospital for dandruff, which I thought was very unusual, but you're deluded, you're totally deluded in that state, obviously. Uh, what was it like being in a brain rehab? place? It's a very surreal experience for the major reason I think you don't know you are really brain injured. You are you, that's the end of the story. And the most, most insane people are there and the most wonderful people are there. But you don't see the worst thing because it isn't a normal everyday occurrence to you. How did your friends and work colleagues treat you after this event? I had some friends that stood by me and understood what I was going through. I had half, I would say, half the amount of friends I had treated me like I was someone different all of a sudden. They treated me with kid gloves, as I said. They treated me like I was about to stab them in the eyes at any moment. They uh, would talk to, about me behind my back, right, right behind my back, like I couldn't hear them. Everyone would ask me about my compensation. That was always a major topic. My actual work colleagues treated me better than anybody. I'd worked with them for 20 to 25 years. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be sitting here. The crash changed and affected Glenn's life dramatically. It's fair to say his life would be quite different if he was never involved in the accident. And how did uh, the accident affect your work life? Well, my work life before all that, I had worked in theatre and film and television. Um, I was a uh, actor, director, writer. Uh, stage manager, I had my finger in every pie because that's what you do. You moved back to Adelaide, why is that? Well I moved to Sydney first after that to work down there. I moved back to Adelaide for two reasons. One, my father died and so I came back to see him before he died. And the second reason, once I got here I suddenly felt at home. How would you respond to you being a very inspirational person. You, you were going like very well with a comedic career, acting, producing. Then this accident happened and it kind of slowed down and now you're here getting back into it but a different side. I don't know if I would have an ego to say I was inspirational. I would say I'm just being who I am. That's it and I don't think anyone should stop being who they are.